Lesson 83, let's do gold analysis. Let me update you on what gold is about to do. By the way, like I said every uh the other day, I've started to trade gold and for some time, for sometimes I feel like I was too harsh on myself. And that's why I was not understanding gold. But now I keep understanding it and I um the journey is good, so I encourage you to be trading it. The only thing you need to avoid is to over risk. And you need to first you have to comment down below. What do you think gold is doing? Do you think gold will sell or it will buy? What do you think? Comment down below. Is it a sell? Are you are you on a sell side or are you on a buy side? So I was checking weekly analysis on gold and I noticed a resistance break. So there was this resistance break and immediately the market broke. It's not like it had activated a double top. You know, this is the way the market can break and then activated, activates a channel so that it breaks. This market just hung, hung from nowhere. Like it just hung, it it never activated this zone and the sell started to go down. And uh, for me, when I use BW strategy, it is easier to know the next move. So <clears throat> that was not worrying me. But the problem is <laughs> last week, it was a very good sale. But can you see this week? So tomorrow is Friday, like today is Friday. And can you see this candle, a very big momentum candle? So the question is, what made this market just stop here? What is in this zone? What is in this zone? Because you have to understand that the market does not, the market does not float. This is floating. You see, this is understandable. The market broke a resistance. But this one is what we call floating. So the market does not float. How do you know your market is floating? You know your market is floating when there is no support to tell you why the market did this. There is no a reason you can tell why the market is behaving that way. So for me, I want to believe that there is a reason why this market just floated. And I cannot believe on this buy. This buy is not supported on anything. Like, you know, the way we say the foundation of a house is you have to dig deep and then now you put all everything that is required but here is a house that has been built on sand me that's what i believe because how comes this bullish candle just come we already know that rejection happens at a support zone uh break break uh, happens at a support area mm -hmm. ranging happens at a support area but when you have a rejection and there is no support something is smelling a lot. So when you have a very momentum candle, you just know this is a fake movement. So the market is going up, maybe to tap a zone and then continue to go back. So me, that's what, that's my, that's what I have thought on this gold. And I, as we proceed and as the market unveils, we'll see if it is making sense. So what I believe is that this market has a potential of still coming down and tell us what made it go down. So it still have a potential of coming down. And let me tell you, if this candle comes today down, this today is Friday, we are talking of 459 pips. So are we ready for that sale? Okay, you can know the market will sell, but still, if you don't have a strategy to sell, you will still be frustrated. You'll still be frustrated. So let's go to daily. Now we are established that we have a floating market. Anytime you have a floating market, already the market has told you, has given you a way out. I am, I will drop down. So where the market had floated, they told you there was a floating market. You can see there was nothing. There was nothing that made this market to go down, to stop all of a sudden, there's nothing. So it means this market has a fast, a potential of coming back to that area because why would the market just leave these things hanging so this market has a potential of coming back to this area and that's 358 so for me i believe the zone of 1945 it is a very strong zone that we cannot spot it on higher time frame i don't know why but either on lower time frame it is making sense but the market has stopped all of a sudden 
It's not like it has a support area. So these are some of the things I'm noticing that gold is doing. And again, gold has already floated. Can you see? It has floated. It is not like it has spot a resistance or anything. There is no resistance because if we want to have a double top on the daily, the market has to tap that zone at 1992. But you see, the market has reached 1987 and it is starting to drop. So what, what are we getting here? What do you think we are getting out of here? Is we need to have concrete evidence of what is happening. Already we know the market cannot just stop and buys and buys and buys. It will come back to fill that gap. So when you come to four hours, when you come back to four hours, the same thing happens. You see, we have an area here where we thought we would have a double bottom. Can you see? It was a very good, and I think this is a double bottom that everyone was waiting. Wait until the market uh, was violated. And again, the market, when it was violated, not only it violated and, and made a small double bottom, it violated twice. Because they made sure they have broke even the second attempt. Like they made sure they have broke. So not only they broke this double bottom, they broke even this support, this first attempt of the support. So what it means is that still we have a floating market because why would the market just stop from nowhere? Why would it stop from nowhere? Can you see? Why would it stop from nowhere? So what I want you to understand is that when the market now we have identified is floating, you see this cell that is coming down, it has potential of coming back to this area. So for me, my analysis and how I'm seeing gold, it has a potential of coming back to 1933. That is me. That's my, my, that's my opinion. If it hits 2000, sorry, it's just an, opportun uh, an op uh, opinion. So the question now lies to me. I have tried to build a story of gold and what I have been observing. The question now we ask ourselves, what will make the market, let me first delete, what will make the market come back to this area? What will make the market come back? Because we can see the market broke a very strong support area and it never did anything. Like you see the way the market just break and, and then go up. So the question is, because this market is coming down, what will make this market to come down? So for me, I was so excited when I saw this double top. You see this double top? I was so excited and my double top got violated and I was like, wow. So when my double top was violated, I came back to this one candle resistance and I said, you are my savior now. Make sure you don't get violated. So I'm happy to announce that we have a possible double top only on one time frame. And that strategy, we call it OPT. So we have OPT. OPT means one pattern on one time frame. So once we have OPT, and this is our neckline, we just need to check, is the OPT on the daily? This is very interesting. Is it on the daily? So you can see that's what we have. We have our half there. And then this market, the double, Top has RBS. RBS. So the question is, is it on the daily? Let's go to the daily time frame. Do you think it is on the daily? No. And you can see the floating market where there is no support. So that double top is the one that they will use to drop this market down. So I want you to be ready because you're on a ride to 1933, 1934, 462 pips. But so that we can go to that area, we need what? Current support break, CSB. Current support break. So that's what we need. We need the market to give us a current support break. And let me tell you, once we get that, 
you are good to go. So all the best on gold. I hope you have understood my analysis. I've tried to paint a picture where on the weekly we were selling very well and the market floated. On the daily we were selling very well and the market floated. And you can see the retracement what it has found. A possible double top. A possible double top. So all the best guys. I hope this trade will give us, but I hope by the time you're watching this video, it has CSB. So I want you to comment. Once you start watching this video, you will open your gold trade on four hour and tell me three things. Is CSB broken? Is half activated? Uh, is half TP1 hit? Is the neckline hit? So those are the three things I want you to comment. When you will watch this video, it doesn't matter if you watch it here or now. Just go. This this double top is a double top of that's that happened Monday, 6th of November. So you'll just go and flip your chart Monday, 6th of November 2023 on four hour, and you'll find the same double bottom. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best, and I love you.